Okay, sixth grade, lesson 49. This is on dividing by a decimal number, okay? So you've learned how to divide when there is just a decimal inside of this division problem, okay? In the dividend, if we have a decimal, what do I do with it? Bring it up, bring it up, okay? Now, when you have a decimal with the divisor, everything changes. Okay. If it's a whole number as a divisor, mm -hmm. you just, if there's a decimal in here, you just bring it up. But if there's a decimal in here and there's a decimal here, we have to remember to do something. Okay. So you want to make a note saying if there is a decimal number, if there is a decimal number in the divisor, which is what you're dividing by, then we have to do something. In the divisor? If there's a decimal number in the divisor, we have to do something. Okay? Something. Good. Okay. Now, here's what you're going to have to do. We need to make this into a whole number. Okay. Okay. Do you remember how to do that? You've never learned before, but you have learned how to make 0.4 into 4 by multiplying by 10. Because if I multiply this by 10, I can move my decimal member one place to the right. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then that becomes the decimals over here. And when the decimals are on the right of a number, it's always there even if you can't see it. Remember that rule? There's always a decimal here even if you can't see it. Okay, but the decimal's here right now, and we want it to be here. So multiply it by 10. Okay, but what we do to this one, we have to do to this one. Okay, so if I multiply this by 10, which moves it one spot, then I have to multiply this by one t by ten, and that moves it what one spot. One spot. Okay. okay. So basically, um, the this becomes four so in the right. divisor, and one point two four becomes twelve point four. And now we're ready to work it just like normal. Now, what do I do with that decimal? Uh, you slide it up, up right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Once I move this and I move this. Then we're ready to work it just like we have been in the past because this is a whole number, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch this. Let's start over. Let's say my decimal was here. And this time my decimal was here. What am I going to do? Multiply by 20. Multiply it by 100, 100. right? Okay, so what's that going to do? It's going to move it how many places to the right? The two places. Uh huh. So all you have to really remember, you don't have to remember, oh, I need to multiply it by this. Just know you want it at the end. So if I move this one, two times, guess what? One, two times. So I'm going to put my decimal there. Go ahead and erase this. Going to put my decimal here. Going to erase this. Okay. So then it becomes four. Remember four, if there's a decimal at the end, it's just four. Remember that rule? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to erase my zero right here and erase that just to help me. Okay, and I can even erase this one because at the it's at the end of the number. It's not necessarily there anymore. But I'm going to go in and bring it up just to help me. Okay, so remember the decimal is here. Okay, I'm going to move it up. Then I'm going to work the problem like normal. Four goes into 12 how many times? Three. Three times four is 12. Subtract. Bring down. Four one. goes into four. One time. One time. One times four is four. And that makes it even. So it's just 31. And we can erase the decimal. We won't need it because we're not going to add in the zero and all that. We don't have to. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do a few more problems now that you're understanding what to do if your divisor is not a whole number. Okay? Let's do another one. Here's what it says. 1.44 divided by 0 0.6. Now, how am I going to set this up? Which one goes on the inside? 
the 0.6. The inside. What goes oh, right here? Oh, that. Yeah. The 1.44, right? Mm -hmm. This number right here is the dividend. The one on top always goes on the inside. Okay, 1.44 divided by divided by 0 0.6. Okay, what am I going to do here? What's my very first step? Should I just slide this up? Uh, no. No, there's a problem because we have a decimal number. Decimal. You need to divide it by 100. Well, I mean 10. Multiply it by 10. Okay, mm -hmm. don't even, you don't even have to do that. I was just showing just you how it, it makes slide. sense. We're just going to slide it to the right. Slide it here, put it here, and what's this one going to do? Slide it. Slide it. So I'm going to go in and move it up. Is that a good idea? So that I don't forget my decimal number at the end in the answer. Okay. So now this says 14.4 divided by 6. Now we just work it like normal. 6 goes into 14 two times. 6 times 2 is 12. Subtract, bring down. 6 goes into 24. 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. And we're done. The answer is 2.4. Feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let me show you one more that's going to be in your um, lesson practice. And you don't have to do this one on your lesson practice because we're going to do it together here. Okay? This is D on your lesson practice. So go and write that down. Okay. No. Put it down. Oh. You're why? doing D. Why? Because it's, it's hard. Okay. Okay, we're going to want to do it right now. Okay, here's what it says. 9 divided by 0 0.3. Okay, so how should I set this up? Uh, you don't really have to do anything. So what it's... goes on the inside? Oh, 0 0.3. No, the top. 9 divided by 0 0.3. Oh. Watch what I do right here, Eli. Okay. 9 divided by 0 0.3. 9 divided by 0 0.3. You see how that makes sense? Yeah. When I read this, it says 9 divided by 0 0.3. And then when I put it in here, it's 9 divided by 0 0.3. You got it? Okay. Okay. What do I do? I have a problem. Uh, you basically just move that over. Okay, I move that once. And then it's just 3 divided by 9. Time out. But if I move this once, what do I have to do over here? Just move it once. Uh huh. But where is the decimal right now, even though you can't see it? Oh. It's on the end of the nine right now, right? Yeah. So then you need 90. Right. Good job. So because I moved this one spot over, I'm going to move this one spot over. And I'm going to put in one of my terminal zeros just to help me out. Got it? Yep. Okay. So now your problem is zero 03, which is just three, goes into 90. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to move my decimal up right here. Okay, three will go into nine three times. Three times three is nine. Bring my zero down. Three goes into zero, zero times. Zero times three is zero. And there you go, 30 is my answer. Okay, you see why we went on and did that one together? Yeah. Because you would not have known what to do. It didn't ever teach you. So I wanted to be able to teach that to you because you've never learned it yet. Okay, so that is D from your lesson practice that will help you out. That is lesson 49.